Many people think that whatever you can see exists, what you don't see don't exist. Show me God, show me your intelligence, show me love. Oh, these are just chemical things. But trust me when I say it as an entrepreneur, as an innovator, as a guy who has built multiple products and services, I can tell you what you cannot see matters so much more than what you can see. For example, the hardware of your phone versus the software, it makes all the difference in the world. Of course, the hardware matters when it comes to the, the, the camera or a couple of things. But the software, the ease of use and the ability to do things, you cannot see the software, but that's what makes it so powerful. Our mind, it processes all the information coming from our eyes, from our nose, from our senses, and it gives you a perception about the world. You cannot see the mind. It's not the brain. It's the mind, it's a software, but you don't see it, yet it is so powerful. It's where the desire lies, and the desire drives you to do things you want to do. Your nature, your skill, your ability, the things that make you different from other people, from good to great to legendary. What is the difference? They're the same people, the hardware is the same, the same two eyes, the nose, the mouth, the body, the hands, the legs, they are same. But the things you cannot see are the ones that make you different, that make somebody like Steve Jobs a legend, that makes somebody like me a tiny insignificant insect. What is the difference? It's the, the things that you cannot see. So if you want to make a difference in this world, if you want to be the best version of yourself, focus on the things you cannot see. That means understand that humans are emotional beings. And because we are emotional beings, we make decisions based on emotions and rationalize it with logic. Now, when you understand that, you understand that you need to connect with people on a lot more than just rules. Small talk, a little smile, a little help, a little favor goes a long way where people when you do that for them they reciprocate with bending the rules a little bit extending the deadline a little bit and doing a little bit for you that makes you or gives you an advantage over others who follow the rules and that's it so there are people that you like to work with and there are people you cannot tolerate because they're arrogant or they're uh, too unsocial or they really have a negative aura about themselves. What is this negative aura? We don't have a halo around us, but don't you feel that about some people that I really like to be around this person and I don't like certain people? Now again, to see the unseen, where is that coming from? That's coming from within us, how we are thinking, how we are thinking about the world, how we are thinking about people, how do we treat other people? What is our value system? How do we grow up? What was our upbringing like? All of that define the kind of aura we have, whether it attracts other people or it repels other people. If we can attract other people, it's people power, everything happens. You attract investors, you attract your co-founders, you attract your customers, you attract money, you attract fame, you attract everything. And if you have that negative aura, you repel everyone. Even let's say you are successful, you still are always alone. So if you are going through that, where you feel that even in a crowded room, you're alone, maybe it's time to rethink and rewire your internal value system, to rethink how you can be a magnet for all kinds of good things in life. Attract the right people, attract the, the favors, attract, but you first have to do it yourself. You have to give what you want from others. If you want people to be nice to you, be nice to them without an agenda. If you want people to do favors to you, do favors to others without an agenda. You will see that karma will come back to you. Even if it doesn't come immediately, it will come eventually. Be consistent. Be consistently good. Be consistently kind. Be consistently caring. You will see that people around you will eventually change. Your fortune will change. What you attract will change. And your life will change for the good.